Hey guys, it's Peggy Yee here with Citrus Templates and today I want to show you how you can edit your follow-up schedule and uh, recalculate the next contact date. So in the spreadsheet, um, you already have a predefined um, follow-up schedule here. Um, so if you wanted to change this, uh, first you just need to go to the uh, Setup tab. So in the setup tab, um, you can see this follow-up schedule, so you can change this. So what I'm going to do here is just change this to eight months, So, um, but you can change which, whichever ones that you want. And once you change that, when you go back to the pipeline sheet, then you can see that these are automatically updated. So you don't have to do anything else um, with this drop-down. It'll automatically update here. Um, so now the next thing is we have to update the formula for um, the next contact date. So if you look at any of these formulas, they are all based on um, what the, the text is. And then so it'll recognize the text in this column and then calculate the day based on that. So if we were to do eight months uh, instead of six months, then we have to go find the six month one, uh, change it to eight months. And then you want to change this number to however many days you know after. So eight months is uh, 240 days um, after the the last contact date. So then we just changed from eight to two the the eight months and then to 240 here. And so that will um, update your uh, the next contact date. So then when we click eight months, it'll put the right uh, next contact date there. So uh, so that's how you can change the formula. Now you're gonna have to copy this formula all the way through. So just click on the one that you just changed and then you can drag it all the way down uh, to the end and uh, and then it'll update all of those formulas. Uh, you probably will get a warning because you're not really supposed to um, update that part of it. But um, you know if you are um, you know going through this video, you can update it that way. Uh, just know that you'll probably get some warnings um, between uh, doing this. So one thing you can do is, as always, like make a copy of your current sheet so that you can always go back in case something um, you know doesn't go quite right. Then you can always um, have your backup copy. Uh, so that's how you can update the um, the follow up schedule and uh, and then the next contact date for however um, you know you want to customize your follow up schedule.